and that the more neurons that fire together in synchrony, the higher the amplitude is going to be, the more red it's going to be. And boom, look at all that red coming in as he raises his energy levels and gets all those neurons to sync up in massive amounts of amplitude in the higher frequency levels. Remember that's beta and gamma. And that's really incredible. Kevin has let me know that he has a range from one to three. So we'll try it there and then I'll start squeezing it down a little um, just so that we can get more color change. He's gonna have a bigger change in amplitude at the higher end frequencies because he's a more skilled meditator and really can tap into those higher energies better than I can. But I would consider myself at the intermediate level. So we'll take a look at what that looks like and you can try it at home and let me know how it works for you. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech for Psych. I'm your medical doctor confident, Dr. Cody Rawl. This video is the perfect example of the combination of cutting edge technology with ancient techniques to supercharge your brain. We're taking a look at something that Kevin from the Heart Mind Alchemy Group showed me. Uh, Kevin recently came out with a book with his partner, Steven, Raising Our Vibration. I highly recommend that you take a look at it. There's some really great basic and advanced level meditation techniques in there that I think will be able to further your meditation practice. But I wanna give full credit to Kevin for showing me this technique. If we recall, Kevin and Steven were on the YouTube channel a couple of months ago showing us their graphs from the mind monitor system. And what they're able to demonstrate is that when they engage higher level energy centers, they are these big bursts of beta gamma activity that are incredibly interesting and mirror what research has been done at academic centers like University of Madison, where uh, Richard Davidson showed that Buddhist monks have similar bursts of brainwave activity. And coincidentally enough, MIT just came up with studies, animal studies showing that as you go up higher levels of uh, information processing in the cortex, higher frequency bands are favored to encode the information. So there's a lot of information coming out right now that seems to mirror what we're seeing on these experiments. So what we're looking at is the heat map setting on the mind monitor system. And what's cool is that you can actually see changes in real time as you go through your meditative techniques. Now, Kevin is a much more experienced meditator than me. He's been meditating for over 30 years and he's gonna have massive changes in brain activity in real time as he's showing us on the mind monitor system. I'm gonna have smaller changes of brainwave activity, but the changes are still there. And what I want to do is take you through the experiment show you how to set up mind monitor and explain the heat map settings so that you can engage on this on your own time. And what we're gonna see is the heat map actually has a range of frequencies. As you go from left to right, it actually goes from zero to over 54 Hertz. So that's the range from Delta to gamma and everything in between. And the colors that you see are actually levels of amplitude in microvolts. So we're seeing that at low activity levels are blue, uh, getting higher through green and yellow, and then the highest activity would be red. And you can actually change the max and minimum settings on the graph in order to get a larger degree of color change with a smaller degree of change in EEG amplitude. So I'm gonna show you how to do the settings properly and adjust properly so that with your level of expertise, you can show color changes and actually learn something about your meditative techniques there. So we're gonna go through step by step, take a look at the experiments and uh, show you how to set this up. Now, one thing that I did before this experiment is run through my meditative routine, as you can see in this tutorial video here. So I used Om Japa Ujjayi breath, as well as Meta Kindness to open up my energy centers and do some spinal breathing techniques in order to open up and prime my central nervous system to allow this burst of higher energy to come in when I focus my attention on higher energy level centers. So you can try that and then use the mind monitor system as we go forward. All right, so I'm gonna put on the Muse headband here and throw up mind monitor. We're gonna take a look at the heat map in my monitor to see if I can raise my vibration, raise those frequency levels between beta and gamma on the higher end of the heat map when I focus in on the higher energy centers. Whitening your skin is always very important to make sure you have the best EEG signal possible. I like to use this little headband tightener you can get with the mind lift system uh, to make the Muse headband fit even better. Put it on like so. Okay, you can see that the horseshoe just happened right there, so we've got a good connection. This is the heat map. In my monitor, you can 
shuffle between uh, different visualization schemes here. Today we're taking a look at the heat map. So I'll just let that fill in here a little bit. So what you can see here is from left to right, you've got from zero hertz all the way up to 56 hertz. So delta, theta, alpha, beta, and all the way up and through the gamma range. And red indicates high activity, whereas blue indicates low activity. And green and yellow are in between. It goes from blue to green to yellow to red. And what you saw on Kevin's heat map is that he was able to have the higher frequencies go from blue all the way to red. Now, I might not have that same range, but we'll try a couple of different things here. One of the things that you can do on the Mind Monitor heat map app is actually adjust the range of amplitude. What you can do is create a lower change in amplitude variance that will have more color change within a smaller amplitude range. So I can cheat a little bit. I can squish the amplitude range and cause a less degree of change to have more color change. Kevin has let me know that he has a range from one to three. So we'll try it there and then I'll start squeezing it down a little bit from three to 2.5 to two on the higher end, um, just so that we can get more color change. He's gonna have a bigger change in amplitude at the higher end frequencies because he's a more skilled meditator and really can tap into those higher energies better than I can. But I would consider myself at the intermediate level. So we'll take a look at what that looks like and you can try it at home and let me know how it works for you. So a lot of what you're seeing right here is especially on the lower end within the delta range is all muscle contractions. Those are all muscle artifacts. And if I move a lot, it disturbs the whole uh, frequency range, but mostly down here, all the red down here is, is muscle contraction. So anything you see up in here, if I'm sitting still, should be representative of beta and gamma spikes in hitting the higher level of uh, energy exchange, opening up my energy centers. Now what I've done before this is I actually did a meditation session and I sat and used Om Japa, uh, Ocean Breath, and focusing on my different energy center points in order to open my uh, spinal breathing up to the energy circulating through. So I can kind of sit here and focus on a lower energy center and calm down and have less energy spikes and then elevate my awareness to the higher energy levels and open up my awareness to let that energy flood in in order to have gamma and beta wave spikes. So we'll see that and see if I can actually change the heat map here in doing that. All right, so let's set right around one to three, which is what Kevin was set at. And what I'll do is I'll sit quiet with my eyes open, then I'll do my eyes closed. And then when I put my finger up like this, I'll raise my energy and we'll see if it has an impact on the heat map. Okay, so right away you can see that the eyes open has a higher amplitude across the spectrum than eyes closed. When I go from eyes open to eyes closed and get relaxed, the higher range frequencies go from yellow and green to blue when the heat map is set in that one to three amplitude range. And here as I tap into a higher energy center and attempt to raise my vibration like Kevin, I'm able to get some change, mostly going from blue to green and then a little yellow in this range instead of being able to get all the way up to red like Kevin. And then bringing it back down, my yellow and green gets back to blue. So let's bring down the difficulty level a bit and go from 1 to 2.5 for the full color spectrum range. So on this one, I'm able to get much more yellow in the higher frequency ranges now that it's a little easier to do so based on the amplitude range. And then it goes back down to blue when I'm relaxed. And finally, let's put it even lower at the one to two range. Notice that there's a lot more noise and it's easier to create a false red and yellow. When I do raise my energy levels, you can see that red I was talking about, but it's still not as easily separated from the lower range frequency activity like Kevin's was. 
And as I relax, you can see the amplitude levels in the higher frequency range go from red and yellow back down to green and blue. So let's go back to Kevin's heat map and I'll speed it up a bit for a comparison. And what I noticed right off the bat is how calm everything is. Look at all that blue, lots and lots of blue, even the lower frequencies are blue. And as he raises his energy levels up, you first see that yellow start to spark off with the lower frequencies still staying down in the green. Remember that these are representing amplitude changes in the brainwave frequencies and that the more neurons that fire together in synchrony, the higher the amplitude is going to be, the more red it's going to be. And boom, look at all that red coming in as he raises his energy levels and gets all those neurons to sync up in massive amounts of amplitude in the higher frequency levels. So remember that's beta and gamma and that's really incredible look at the lower range frequencies that are still green in comparison and much better separated out than mine were and even more red coming in as he syncs up more neurons and then as he backs off from raising the energy levels and calms down everything settles back down to blue So I don't know about you, but seeing Kevin meditate in real time and seeing the results that he has on that heat map and mind monitor completely blew me away. This is probably the favorite video that I've done all year just because of the implications of what's been shown. His ability to do that has really inspired me to try to reach new heights, not only my meditation, but also in the technology that's being developed and my documentation of that technology with the Muse headband or other wearables on this channel. And I'm so excited for technologies that are coming in the near future that are going to be able to allow us to investigate this further and work with people like Kevin that have been meditating for 30 years and have these cognitive abilities that are just really off the map, off the chart from what normal people are able to do. I did a couple of other experiments. I did longer meditation sessions and saw that the heat map was very similar to the recordings that I did for this video. I also did sessions where I didn't meditate and I was just sitting there and trying doing mental arithmetic or even just focusing forward kind of intensely but not meditating and saw that the changes on the heat maps were not as dramatic as when I was meditating. So the recordings that I showed on this video were very indicative and very unique to my meditation sessions. And of course, Kevin's meditations are just on a completely different level. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get notifications when I upload new content. Thanks so much for your support with Tech for Psych. Talk to you next time. I hope that was inspiring. We've got a lot more to figure out. I'm sure there's a lot of meditators out there with unique brainwave patterns, and this is a collaborative effort. So be sure to check out the Heart Mind Alchemy Project on Facebook and share your graphs and mind monitor heat maps, and we'll see you there.